Mr. Rashar, are you going to freeze the Hezbollah as it is the United Nations and the United States demanding? We're going to have a good discussion. About this issue? This is not the Talk first time. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Is this an effort by the administration to placate, or if you choose the word please, that's all right? Well, both uh, parties, both the Palestinians and the Israelis, have spoken of a Palestinian state at uh, a point in the future with mutually agreed upon boundaries and with uh, mutually agreed upon conditions. So I don't think we broke any particular, particular new ground there, except that it was coming from the President of the United States in this current administration, and he chose a, an international uh, forum in which to do it, which I think is a powerful signal. We are looking for opportunities to become more actively engaged, and in the days and weeks ahead, I think you will see us uh, uh, do more uh, toward that end. Uh, the vision that the pre President gave uh, to the United Nations yesterday, uh, we will add more to that as we go forward with additional ideas. And I'm quite confident that in due course, as we move forward and as we see success, uh, the President will have an opportunity to meet with uh, Chairman Arafat. Also, we discussed the situation in the Middle East. And we've been encouraged by the statement by the President on the General Assembly on Saturday when he spoke about future cooperation between the two states of Israel and Palestine and secure border and work for peace and stability in the region for both people. Uh, toward that end, uh, the vision that the pre President gave uh, to the United Nations. Yes, what I'm trying to say is, you mentioned the issue of Palestine. Why do you go to the United Nations and you try to talk with the Security Council on this issue? We are working on keeping peace in the region, to reduce the violence, to keep negotiation, to start on the right level. 